Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, half of Ramadan is over. Do you realize that Ramadan is coming to an end? Subhanallah. What have you done during this beautiful month? Have you mended relations with those whom it is broken with, especially the closest circle of yours in terms of family? Do you know that Allah Almighty instructs us to make an effort to resolve matters and to try and mend broken relations, especially those who are close to us, your blood relatives? If you are not speaking to your brothers, your sisters, your uncles, your aunts, your parents, your children, your whoever else it may be from your closed circle of relatives, do you know it is your duty to try and resolve the matter? The act of worship is so huge. Allah Almighty speaks about it in many places in the Quran. وَالَّذِينَ يَصِلُونَ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ أَن يُوصَلْ Allah praises those whom uh, who connect the relations that are supposed to be connected. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, الصلح بين الناس, meaning mending relations between people is a great act of worship. Allah says, there is no goodness in private meetings unless you are doing one of a few things. And one of them is to resolve matters between people. Today, we make an effort to break relations. We make an effort to destroy that which is good but we don't make an effort to make things work to resolve a matter what was the problem was it money if it is money no problem Allah will bless us with more what was the problem was it something that happened you can resolve it it's not the end of the world when you resolve matters for the sake of Allah Allah will resolve your matters on the day of judgment so to be able to mend relationships in the month of Ramadan is a multiplied reward because during the month of Ramadan all good deeds are multiplied by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We use this month to give charity. We use this month to pray extra. We use this month to fast. We use this month to improve our character, our conduct. We use this month to praise Allah. We use this month to recite the Quran. We must use this month to resolve the matters between our brothers and sisters. May Allah help us unite. May Allah help us come to a good understanding. Remember, it's a matter of give and take. It's a matter of compromise when it comes to your relationship with your brothers and your sisters, blood brothers, your uncles, your aunts, your children, your, maybe your in-laws. It might be. It is time to resolve matters between husband and wife. May Allah Almighty grant us the acceptance to resolve matters during this beautiful month of Ramadan. When we say have a big heart. When we say compromise, we're not talking of the principles of Allah Almighty. You're not going to compromise your faith in order to solve a problem, but you will compromise as best as you can worldly items that the problems are generally caused regarding. So my brothers, my sisters, today's boost is connected to encouraging us to go out and make amends, solve problems, try to greet people and resolve the matter. Talk about it. It's okay. To one another try to bring the parties together if you're a third party try to ensure that brothers are talking to one another again have a good heart don't allow shaitan to uh, take advantage of us this is the time when we should be doing this allah almighty really really would reward us and this is why the prophet muhammad peace be upon him speaks about the relationships when allah instructed that we should fulfill the ties of kinship the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, لَيْسَ الْوَاصِلُ بِالْمُكَافِ إِنَّمَا الْوَاصِلُ الَّذِي مَنْ إِذَا قُطِعَ رَحِمُهُ وَصَلَهَا A person who is a good maintainer of family ties is not the one who has a tit-for-tat relation. They were good, I was good. They gave, so I gave. They did, so I did. No, but a true maintainer of family ties is he whom, when relations have been broken from one side, he makes or he makes the effort to try and resolve that matter. He goes out of his way. He has the bigger heart. He makes sure that he has tried. He leaves no stone unturned. Then, if still the matter remains and the people are not forthcoming, you've actually thrown the ball into their court. May Allah Almighty make us from among those who have a big heart. Yes, one of the crises we do face is you cannot just solve a matter without actually solving the matter. What that means is there is an outstanding dispute regarding an amount of money. For example, a large amount. 
You may want to forgive, no problem, but sometimes it's your due, it's your right, a matter of inheritance, a matter of something great. If you're not going to resolve that particular issue, you may not be able to resolve the broader matter of us getting along. So what you need to do, what I need to do is, we must make sure we resolve that matter. It should be resolved in accordance with what pleases Allah. Sometimes if it is a little bit here and there, it's better to have a big heart and give. But you will never be able to resolve the broader matters of the families or the brothers or whoever else it may be, the uncles and aunts, the nephews and nieces, if you're not going to be just and fair in your solution for the core matter that exists. Because people come to us and say, well, I'm trying my best. This person is not really forthcoming then you've done your duty. But if you haven't really resolved the matter, what's the point of a cosmetic patch up? That's not good enough. My brothers, my sisters, make an effort genuinely to resolve the matters. Life is very, very short. Before we know it, we'll have gone back to Allah. Have a big heart. Leave things in the hands of Allah Almighty, meaning trust people. Allah says, وَإِن جَنَحُوا لِسَّلْمِ فَجْنَحْ لَهَا وَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ When they, meaning the enemy, is inclining towards making peace with you, then you should incline towards the same peace. Well, what if they're going to cheat me? Allah says, trust in Allah. Do your best when you sign the treaty or accord or you make a resolve. Do your best. Leave the rest in the hands of Allah. Then Allah says in the very next verse, وَإِن يُرِيدُوا أَن يَخْدَعُوكَ فَإِنَّ حَسْبَكَ اللَّهِ If they then want to cheat you and deceive you, Allah is sufficient for you. Allah is sufficient for you. So resolve a matter, make your agreements, let it be amicable. This is even with the enemy. Imagine with your family members, come on. It cannot be over a major matter. It should be over something material of this world in most cases. If that is the case, learn to give up things. It's fine. It's just worldly life. It's okay. Today you've taken, you're my brother at the end of the day. You're my sister or my uncle or my aunt or my nephew or niece or whoever else it may be. Even between spouses, if you are struggling and your relationship is not working, make an effort to mend it. Make an effort to get along. Make an effort to resolve and patch up today during Ramadan. These are the last nights of Ramadan. We have a little bit left. No one knows if we're going to make it to the end. No one knows if we're going to see another Ramadan. So it's important for us to make sure that we spend some time resolving matters. Learn to solve problems. Have a big heart. And then make life easy for people, not difficult. Because if you're going to repeat the same thing, perhaps the problem will not be resolved long term. May Allah Almighty use us to resolve matters and solve problems. And may Allah Almighty bless every one of us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad.